Hello guys, it's your boy Normally from Sweden and in today's video I am going to be looking through a bunch of my old forgotten storage units which contain skins I haven't seen for weeks, months, maybe even years. Now I did accidentally open one or two of these while I was streaming and that's how I got the idea for the video was because I didn't even recognize many of the skins that were in the storage unit and many of them are from either old videos, case openings or for example when I collected every single skin in CSGO so there should be some pretty valuable stuff in here. But before we get into that, this video was brought to you by Skins Monkey. They're a trading site for CSGO skins and it's just as simple as that. It's a good way to change up your loadout easily every so often to play with some new skins. And they've got a 30% deposit bonus and if you use the link in the description or put the code ANOMALY, you get another 5% for a total 35% deposit bonus. If you're making your first trade, you can also use code ANOMALY and get up to five dollars for free. They've also got a freebies tab for giveaways which you can join for free. So if you want to try them out then please use the link in the description and thank you Skins Monkey once again for sponsoring this video. So, since I have so many storage units, obviously I can't show every single one and go through it, but I asked my trusty editor, Aviator, to uh, check which ones he thinks are the most interesting, and then leave those in the video while I'm going to be sitting here for hours on end opening every single one. But you guys, you get the cherry-picked storyline version of the most interesting storage units. Now, the first few boxes I actually want to go through are these ones, called Every Skin, going from Grey's Light Blue, Blues, blues and purples. Like I said, this is from the video where I collected every single skin in CSGO and I actually haven't opened these barely at all since that video was made. Now, at the time of me buying the skins that are in these storage units, they were not worth that much. I remember some of them may have been, you know, 50 euros. The most expensive one was maybe 100 euro and that's the most expensive skins. These gray ones were almost free. And basically what I'm trying to say is since I made that video, the skins that that are in these storage units have gone up in value a lot. Like, look here, I made this video in February 2021. That's two years ago now. God damn. So starting with a gray storage unit, um, I don't think there's gonna be anything in here that I don't know about. This is interesting though, Nova Predator with a uh, Kato 14 stickers. Ooh, we have M249 Jungle from St. Mark's collection, let's see. Okay, around two dollars, so nothing special in this storage unit at all. A gray can't really be that expensive. Next one from the Every skins video is the light blues. Oh yeah. M4 Burl Force dig paper. Okay. Because I remember what I did in that video was if I had a skin, for example, a Glock Sandune already, I just put it in here and keep it. And I guess I just had a Glock Sandune with a Hellraiser's paper. And like this one, the groundwater souvenir with an LGB. Like that's really cool. Value wise, we're not talking that much. Oh yeah. Midnight Storm. Pretty cool skins in here. Nothing crazy, obviously, because still we're only at the light blues. But now now we're going into the blues. I think this one's gonna be insane. Oh my god, look at these stickers! Ooh, this this one's insane. To have randomly four Katos, three are paper, complexity hollow, and Titan. What is this? Who put a Virtus on the mag? This one's also insane. Star Trek Galil Sandstorm. Again with complexity and Titan. The Titan's definitely the coolest one here. The Vox is pretty nice as well. Sadly, it's on the stock. T Auto Sniper with four Kato papers as well. Why? Scar Crimson Web with a mouse hollow. Oh yes, I remember this one. I thought I lost it. I thought I accidentally traded it up or something. Tech 9 Sandstorm, two recent paper, and these bad boys are both scraped, so it looks like it fits the gun much better. I really like this one, even though they're scratched. It's a very strange skin, I'm not gonna lie. What the f- oh. <laughs> Five seven Nightshade, Titan Paper, and I buy power holo in the best position. This is actually expensive. Just to put it into comparison, this is the cheapest 5.7 with an I buy power holo in the same position. This one's listed for $600. And obviously, mine's a lot better. It's got the Titan and it's on an actual decent skin compared to this one. That's actually a lot of money. That's insane. Then we have this one. If I remember correctly, this was a gift, I think, from Arctic. I'm not sure. <gasps> What? 
I literally had no idea I had this one. Glock 18 Blue Fisher, four Cato Papers, I buy Power and Vox. That's really cool. Oh, this one has to be expensive. Snake Camo Minimal Wear. This one is listed for $75. That's pretty good. Then you have like the Pandora Box MP9. This is 80 bucks. Factory new, really nice skin. Oh, this one is probably gonna look very clean. Yes, I like this one. We have this one. Aug Hotterod. Holy shit. Factory new, $200. $20, holy shit. It's because this one's from the Assault Collection, which of course trades up to the Glock Fade, which is uh, a very nice skin and very expensive as well. Okay, I can't get lost in this storage unit. Let's go on with the every skin purple. So yeah, same concept here, every single skin, but purple quality, of course. Ooh, that's no... It doesn't look like, yeah, okay. It just updated. I was like, there's no way it's that clean, right? Because it looked way too good. This is actually one of my favorite skins, but sadly, it's never above field tested, so it always looks like wank. Ooh, dark water. Wait, these are actually gonna be expensive just because they're from this collection. Holy shit, this is $60 now. What the fuck? Oh, what is this abomination? Two complexity as far apart as possible, and then two random poop looking gold stickers. Okay. Oh, yeah. So now we're we're getting into some really expensive skins. We have P90 Astral Factory New. We have the Auto Sniper Kronos Factory New. Sunset Storm Factory New. Both versions. Oh my god, Deagle Hand Cannon. Okay, let's check some other storage units. I know I have a lot of these called Investment Video. I can't really remember what's in there. Oh yeah, I bought a lot of these Berlin capsules. Like I do with almost every major. I buy some capsules just to see what happens, you know? The... Uh, you know, not the best, I think. And I think the reason it's called video, but I didn't make a video, is I think I forgot to record when I bought all of these. Very unlucky. Investment video three. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. I bought a load of CS20 cases. And I also, if I remember correctly, yes, I bought a lot of the sticker capsules. In hindsight, you know, oh, shit. Because they didn't actually discontinue the cases or the capsules. L investment. Then we have this one. This was a huge L. It's a bunch of of RMR stickers, uh, some that I bought just because they were cheap, some that I bought because they looked nice, and a lot of golds. This was also an L investment. Thankfully, I don't think I, I bought them when they were too expensive, and I don't think they're ever gonna move, so these are also just gonna sit in my inventory and just rot away. <laughs> Next up, I think this is just when I opened 15 of every case and just dumped all the shit into this storage unit. Ooh, what? Oh, this is the one me and my dad opened, I think. So yeah, so, some, some decent and skins in here that I definitely like should withdraw and sell. Next unit is called 500 because this is the video where I bought 500 glove cases and 500 recoil cases that I was gonna open. This one's called unlisted slash untradeable. Okay, this is just stuff from Operation Shattered Web buying the battle passes. That's pretty nice. This one's interesting. This one's just called cases and whenever I'd get a case drop or buy cases, I would just dump them in here. Oh my god, what? That's so old. I have some breakouts. Those are pretty expensive now. I think these are around three or four euro. That's a lot. And we have broken fang shid. This broken fang shid, it has some random... Oh my god! Battle scarred hollow. This is such a nice sticker. If I remember correctly, I bought them for around one euro, maybe two euro. 5.4 euro. That's very good considering I have so many. I remember, I really liked the sticker and I was like, I'm just gonna buy a lot of them. And uh, yeah, so I did. Then we have the great the light blues and the blues, which we already went through. Then I have this one. Now, let me tell you about this one. It's called Rad for a reason. So, one night at literally like 4 or 5 a.m., me and Rad were sat in TeamSpeak all alone, and somehow he thought, for some reason, Sticker Capsule 2 with the crown foil. That's an expensive sticker capsule. Stickers from that capsule are expensive, and the crown foil is very expensive. So, he thought, surely, Sticker Capsule 1 is gonna be just as expensive one day. Well, well, guess what, Rad? This was like a year or two ago, and it hasn't moved anything, so I think you were wrong. So, shout out, Rad, for gaslighting me into buying so many sticker capsule ones. They've definitely gone down since uh, we bought them. Uh, so, yeah, shout out, Rad, for gaslighting me into believing that uh, sticker capsule one was a good investment. Spoiler, it wasn't. Oh my god. Oh my. <sighs>
Oh! Next one, accessories plus agents. This is pretty cool though. This is an actual full set of every single key in CSGO that's still tradable. And uh, I don't think these are very rare because at the end of the day, you can just buy them from the market, but they have gone up quite a lot in value. I bought these for, for literally around three euro each. And as you can see, some of them are even up to 20 euro. That's very cool. I don't think I'll ever sell these just because it's uh, something that I think is cool, having the full set of something that's discontinued. Next one's called Chroma Case, 819 items. Wow, I bet this is gonna be really nice. Oi, oi, actually, we got some nice stuff in here. Chromatic Aberration Minimal Wear, and then we've got uh, AK Ice Cold Stat Track and two non-stat tracks. This is pretty nice skin as well, I'm not gonna lie. The fuck? But now, uh, at the top row, we're getting into actual storage units, which I think could have expensive items in it. I probably couldn't name any single skin that's in these storage units, but what happens is my inventory sometimes happens to get full, which means that I have a thousand items or very close to, and then what I would do is I would take random skins that I just pick out, maybe that I'm not thinking about selling right now, maybe skins that I just took from the first row in my inventory, and then I would deposit them into the these storage units. So I think in some of these, there could be some very expensive items. I'm not sure. First one's called El Chapo 2. This, oh my god, okay. Oh my god, so many reds. Now, many of these reds aren't that expensive. Like, there's some expensive in here, but ex as you can see, I also have like Blood Sport. That's just a few euro. But this is probably from case openings, etc., where I've taken the good skins and put them in here. So many pinks, actually. Holy shit. Oh shit, Glock Synthly. It's $165. Hey, fuck me. This storage unit definitely has a lot of value in it and some very nice skins. Next one, El Chapo. Uh, just the number one, I guess. This one. Why? This one. Ooh. Obviously, some of these are from case openings. Also, a lot of value in here that I'm definitely gonna need to withdraw and sell. Now, the next three storage units, I know I'm gonna have some expensive stuff in because these are the three ones where I deposit stuff when my inventory is full. And as you can see, that's why I named them not underscore shit. So I know it's not shit. First one's 168 items. Let's see. Stat track Emerald Dragon. This is $217. We've got this one, M4 Masterpiece with a recent paper on it. Op Graphite Navi Hollow on Scope. So this is just not random crafts, like one of those first storage units we checked. These are actual ones that look good. I think this is Une Pixels that I accidentally stole when we transferred buff balance. I think this is yours, right, Una? I'm not sure. Please write to me if this is yours. <gasps> Whee! This is insane. Yes, I told you there'd be a lot of value in here. If you don't know what these are, these are cobblestone souvenir packages. Now, these range between seven and eight hundred dollars each, and I've actually put them in here uh, because I was afraid I was going to accidentally open them, or even worse, uh, get uh, talked into opening them by my friends. Obviously, I'm not gonna let that happen because these are very expensive, and also, you know, they're pretty rare. Next one, we have not shit number three with 117 items in it. Let's see. Starting from the bottom, we have we I remember this one. P250 Crimson Kimono. Very good float. I've got some of these glitched skins, which have a 0 0.5 and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 float. This is cool. I have no idea I had this one. USB stainless with four Kato papers. We I forgot about this one. Star Trek Redline with three Hellraiser paper. This one I've had for like three, four years years, at least. Let's check out the final one. I only have one of these Ryu storage units, so I think this one's gonna have some nice stuff in it. Let's check. Stick your capsule too. <laughs> so many. Holy shit, 18 euro on Steam Market. <laughs> Operation Breakout Pass. This is super rare. Then we've got these super rare capsules, which I made a whole video about. These legends, there's only 10 listed, and they start at 115 euro. And if we search for these minor ones, there's only six and they start at 300 euro. Holy shit. Ooh, AK Blue Laminate with these nice foil titans. I had no idea I had this one. <gasps> 
<gasps> Souvenir M4 Knight with Kato 15 gold stickers. This has to be pretty rare, actually. Star Trek Redline, four of these Hellraiser Holo from Kato 15. What the fuck? Why is this in here? Huh? That's hella expensive! <gasps> Why the fuck is this in a storage unit that I've just forgotten about? <laughs> That's so expensive! Yes, look, there's a lot of skins in here. I put these in so it wouldn't cancel any of my trades, I see. So these ones aren't actually forgotten, okay? These ones aren't forgotten. Don't worry, guys, I wouldn't fucking forget about skins like these. Skins like this, I may have forgotten about, but skins like the ones at the top, these don't count, because this is just- I just have them here until they go tradable, because my inventory was full. So, that concludes checking out all of my old forgotten storage units. A lot of value in some of these that I've forgotten about, especially some of these every skins. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna clean up in some of these storage units. If I don't, then shit, maybe we'll check back in five years again and see if the price has gone up or the price has gone down. We're gonna see. Thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go withdraw some of the skins from my storage unit and sell them so I can afford McDonald's. Yeah, yeet. <laughs>